Coming in at number one, we have Creepy Uncle Joe Biden at 30%. Of course, everybody knows that Creepy Uncle Joe has a penchant for cuddles and hair sniffing, but seeing as how he's a geriatric old man, he's also playing grab ass with the Grim Reaper. Coming in at number two is everyone's favorite communist grandpa, Bernie Sanders, with a 22.5%. Speaking of near-death seniors, Bernie Sanders is 77, just one year older than Creepy Uncle Joe. It's also rumored that he's actually, in fact, dead, only held together and animated by the tiny mice from Cinderella. Coming in at number three, we have Beto O'Rourke with an 8.8%. Beto is clearly the thought leader of the Democratic Party because he doesn't have any thoughts. Hang in there, Beto, because nothing says white guilted pandering more than changing your name from Bob Francis to a Hispanic sounding name so you could win a congressional district in 2012. Coming in at number four is Kamala Harris. This cast iron wench and high school principal turned senator believes you should pay an additional tax based on the color of your skin. Yeah, keep pushing the whole reparations thing. Trump is absolutely creaming himself right now. Elizabeth Warren and Buttigieg rounding out the fifth spot at a measly 6%. What a bunch of losers. Elizabeth Warren, the bride of Squanto, is another one of these trans racialists who live in a prison of their own hysteria. They use fake minority status to gain advantage. And you would think that people like her and Beto would just use their magical powers of white privilege to get what they want. <laughs> <laughs>